Well, I'm here today at Washington College Academy, and this is the oldest college in the state of Tennessee. It was established at this location in 1780 by Samuel Doak. He was a Presbyterian minister, and he initially instituted this as a church and school. And when he started it, he wanted to ensure that the students were instilled with Presbyterian values because he thought that it would create better citizens. So it's a pretty neat place. Let's go ahead and wander around a little bit and have a look. Well, this is Harris Hall, and it was originally built in 1842. And during the Civil War, the soldiers, the Union soldiers came in and occupied this building. And they used the bottom floor here as a stable for their horses. And as you look inside, you can see that it is a big wide open space and it probably would have provided a great place for them to keep their horses. Um, now upstairs is where the officers stayed when they were here. And this building is actually, I think, four or five stories high. So it's a pretty significant building and it would have been a great place for the soldiers to stop in and use as a base of operations in this area. Now this building is also known as the girls dormitory, which I believe it began to be used for that purpose around the turn of the century into the early 1900s. So as we leave Harris Hall here, we find ourselves on this little foot trail that comes along and makes its way over to the church and over here to Temple Hall. Now off here in the distance we can see the gymnasium and that's a later addition. I think that was actually built in the 60s or 70s. And there's another scientific building back here on the hill. But this trail is kind of neat. As you walk along, right up here we'll encounter the first one. There are little stones inset into the trail marking each class that came through here. Here we have the class of 1964. Come on up the trail a little further. Such a beautiful campus here. It would have been an amazing place to attend school in the 1700s, early 1800s, and this trail continues down that way with more markers. Let's work our way up here. Now we come upon the class of 1933. And here's the class of 1931, which they must have been special because they got a water fountain. If we look down here, we can see there's a little remind marker down here at the top of the fountain for the class of 1931. Directly behind that, we have the class of 1977. That was the year after I was born. So this building was constructed in a couple phases. We can see the center portion here has some older brick. And then off to each side, there are kind of some newer additions. And they have a lot newer brick. It's still a really neat building. Can you guys imagine what would be in the yard of this place if you could metal detect? I bet you there's silver coins everywhere. Let's continue on over to the church and get a good look at Salem Church. Okay, so this is Salem Church. And again, this was uh, originally chartered in 1780 by Samuel Doak. Now this is not the original church building. The original church building was a small log building which also doubled as the Martin Academy, which is what this school was originally called. So as we get up here close to the church, we see this little cornerstone marker. It says, Salem Church, organized by Samuel Doak, 1780. When we come right off to the side here, it tells us a little more information. It says the first church was erected in 1780. The second church was erected in 1825. 
and the present church was built in 1894. So this church we see here standing was built um, just before 1900. Really beautiful stained glass in here and around front there's a beautiful steeple. Just an amazing place and they still hold church in this location. So it's a beautiful building and a beautiful place in East Tennessee. Well, this is the graveyard that is associated with Salem Church here. And I was here last week exploring a little bit. And I noticed there were several graves which appeared to be soldiers that were unmarked. So we're going to go take another look. Uh, there's one soldier in particular that I think I've identified. And I'm going to look into maybe getting these graves marked as soldiers' graves. So let's go take a look wanted to take a quick second and look some of these gravestones are made of slate and they are just incredibly ate up super thin this is one of the graves I was talking about um, last time I was here I, I noticed this grave in particular and then as I went around the graveyard I noticed there were several more that are unmarked with a veterans marker this grave says James L bottles Colonel, 26th Regiment, Tennessee, Volunteer, CSA. Born May 22nd, 1825 or 6, and died October 26th, 1863. That's what caught my eye. Um, and you also see up here is the uh, Mason symbol. So he was a Mason as well. And it says down here he aged 38 years, five months, and four days. And down here it says, on the battle's gory field, when foes assailed our southern lands, his dauntless spirit would not yield, but boldly met the invading band. So I thought that was pretty neat. And there should be a marker here for him, and there's not. I'm going to look into it. Um, I, there's also several other graves around the graveyard that are unmarked and I'm going to be looking into getting those marked as well. So here we see a soldier's grave who is marked. Um, this soldier fought in the War of 1812, William Greenway II. He lived from 1796 to 1880. So he was a pretty young man during the War of 1812. Uh, let's see, 4 and 10, he's been about 16, 17 years old when he went off to fight. But you see here, in honor of service in the War of 1812, William Greenway. So this is what I'm hoping to do for any other veterans in this graveyard that I can find, make sure they get a proper memorial of their service. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this visit to Washington College today. I know I certainly did. It's a beautiful campus, and I wish that there had been someone here today to let us inside some of the buildings and have a look around, but this gives you a pretty good feel for the activity level here at Washington College these days. Nice and slow. Nothing's going on. Hopefully, this land will be continue to be preserved. Um, it is a beautiful and historic landmark in the state of Tennessee. It's the oldest college in the state of Tennessee. And it's kind of heartbreaking to see it falling into a state of disrepair like this. So if you're interested in Washington College, I'll put some links in the description below where you can click on and learn a little bit more about the college. And I think there may even be some ways you can help uh, preserve the college here. I'm sure they have some sort of fun set up and if so I'll link that below. I appreciate you guys coming along today and checking this out. I'm headed over to a Civil War site now to hunt a little bit. We may add that into the video if anything special happens but otherwise I hope you guys enjoyed the trip today and if you did subscribe we'll see you on my next adventure.